Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name is Remy, I'm a teacher of chemistry. Today, we are going to study ions. We are going to talk about ions. Let's first get the meaning of ions. Ions are positive or negative charged atoms. Are positive or negative charged atoms. This is the meaning of ions, or you can say, are charged the particles. They are the two types of ions. One is cation, another is the anion. These are the two types of ions. Our topic today is really to talk about formation of cation and the anion. Let's start about cation. Formation of cation. Sodium. Sodium is the number 11 on the periodic table. To me, it has 11 electrons. We are going to show how this sodium atom become ion, become charged. First, I have to draw the electronic configuration of sodium. This is the nucleus. You have to remember, in the nucleus, it is where the mass of an atom is located. Remember, atomic mass is the sum of protons and the neutrons. Let us draw the first shell. The first shell contains two electrons. Let's use Colossus. The first shell contains two. The second shell contains eight. Let us put two here, even another here, here, and here. The last shell contains one. This is the electronic configuration of sodium with 11 electrons. And then, as a cation, it has a positive charge. This means it loses one electron in order to be stable. Sodium as has 11 electrons. It has one electron in the outermost shell. It loses one electron in order to be half as the noble gases. 11 minus 1 is equal to 10. That's why here I'm going to show the structure of 10 electrons. Sodium. This is the nucleus. The first shell contains two. This is second, which is the last here. We have two here. And this side two. Even here two. And here two. Remember this. Sodium lose one and then get ten. That's why we have to put bracket. We put bracket in order to show how sodium lose. Sodium is not number ten on the periodic table. It is number eleven. That's why we want to show here. 
that electron lose and then we add again to show how really becomes cation. Remember, I have said cation is a positively charged atom. Let us take another example. Example two. Let us take, for example, calcium. Calcium is number twenty on the periodic table. To me, it has twenty electrons. Let's show its electron configuration. This is the nucleus. The first shell contains two. Remember when you are writing electronic configuration, we can use dots, even crosses, or we can use numbers. Let us use dots. First shell contains two. The second contains eight. The third also contains eight. The last contains two. This is the structure of calcium. This calcium has, has two electrons in the outermost shell. It turns through these electrons in order to become stable. It loses two electrons and then 20 minus 2 equal to 18. This means we are going to write the structure of 18 electrons. Calcium. This is the nucleus. The first shell with two. The second with eight. The third, which is the last year, also contains eight. This is the structure of calcium as iron, as cation. And then we wanted to show the electrons that loses. It loses two electrons. Really, this is how cations are formed. Let's deal also with formation of anions. Formation of anions. For example, let's start by phosphorus. Phosphorus it is number 15 on the periodic table. As we do here for cations, let's also show the structure of phosphorus as the electronic configuration. The first shell contains two, the second contains eight. The third contains five because two electrons plus eight equal ten and then it remains with five. One, one, and then five. Phosphorus has five electrons in their outermost shell. And then for metals, really it gains the remaining electrons in order to complete eight electrons on the last shell. That's why this phosphorus atom gains three electrons in order to have eight on the outermost shell. That's why 15 plus 3 equal to 18. Let's blow this phosphorus ion. The first shell has two. The second has eight.
The third, remember at the first it has five, and then it gains three. It gains three electrons. Let's use dots. One here, another electron on this side, and another on this side. This phosphorus here gets eight on the outermost shell. That's why you put these electrons in order to show how this charge is formed. Then I put here negative three. As you add here, you have to remember to subtract those electrons because this phosphorus is number 15, it is not number 18. And then for nanometers, it becomes negative. Let's take the last example for here anions. Example 2. Let us take chlorine. Chlorine is number 17. To me, it has 17 electrons. Let's draw its structure. Chlorine. First shell contains two. Second shell contains eight. The last shell contains seven. One here, even here. These are seven electrons in the outermost shell. Remember, according to octet rule, he said that an atom is stable when it contains eight electrons in the outermost shell. That's why this chlorine atom will gain one electron to have that eight electrons. That's why we have to add one electron and then 17 plus 1 equal to 18. Our chlorine I first shell has two, second shell has eight, the last shell, remember at the beginning, before gaining, it has seven. And then it gains one electron. That's why our chlorine becomes stable by gaining one electron. I think this is understandable. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, to give a comment, to give a like and share. Bye-bye.